That's a close one. Right, on today's bad boats, guys, I'm gonna be looking at one of my favorite crustaceans, and we're gonna learn some things about them. And if you're wondering what crustacean I could be referring to, well, here's a clue. When they get in trouble, they roll up into a ball, and they do this. <laughs> They're pig bugs, or wood louse. Now, here's the beginning. back and I'm ready to go. hope you like that little stunt. Not one of my greatest, but I think you'd agree. I really put my life on the line for you girls and boys, men, women, and whatever, you know, nowadays. Anyway, let's talk about our little crustaceans. They're not insects, they're not bugs, they're crustaceans. They are woodlouse. They originated in the sea, like over, well over 100 million years ago, and they're fantastic. They're isopod. They have 14 segmented body parts, so their first segment is where they have their antenna. Antenna. Do you know, I have never thought about this, but when you look at a, a um, like, up the, hold on, look at this. See on top of my house, antenna. Antenna. That come from insects. Of course it did, because insects use antenna to get information. We use antenna on the roof to get information, like this. Well, this will be through the internet and not really an antenna. But, wow, I never thought about that till now. That's, that's fantastic. Whoa. Anyway, um, back to isopods. 14 segmented body parts. First one, they've got their antenna. They've got four jaws, which means <laughs> they can eat like mentalists. Seven segmented body parts. They have their legs, okay? So they're full, 14 legs, seven on either side. Then at the back, they've got six little bits where they're called pleopods, where they used to have like a almost like little oars that they used to swim with. Okay, then right at the back, how they breathe, through gills. Yeah, through gills. How crazy is that? Right back like in the ocean, like their friends and their ancestors and all their other sort of isopod family, like shrimps and lobsters and crabs and like that, they breathe the same. Isn't fantastic? Anyhow, oh yeah, and they're born with only six legs. And when they molt, shed their exoskeleton skin for the first time, they then grow the second pair of legs, or i will say the second, the rest of their legs, because you know, obviously 12 legs isn't enough, they need 14. <laughs> Anyhow, I've got two and I do all right. You saw me roll down there and I've done that with no legs. So, you know, they must be incredible. Anyway, um, whilst we go find some isopods, I'm gonna tell you a couple more facts. <laughs> so isopods have been around for over a hundred million years. They shed their skin in two parts, the back first and then the front. They have about 25 babies and the babies stay with them till they're old enough to fend for themselves. Now, it's going to be a pretty good bet that we're going to have some wood louse in here. For the simple reason that wood louse love wood. In fact, they love all kind of rotten vegetation. They're really good for the ecosystem because they eat up and they just basically recycle all the old leaves and wood and throw it back into the floor for nutrients. Now much of the time you'll find these little critters in your house by your window seals, especially in older houses like mine. Now the reason for that is because they love mould and mildew. So they're in fact doing you a favour by keeping that mildew and mould away from your windows. You haven't got to pay them, they'll do it for free. Oh my god! Look at that red ant's nest! I couldn't help but not film these, I'm sure you can appreciate that. Look at that! Thank you. 
Now with all today's filming, I just wasn't able to get wood louse to roll up into a little ball. They just didn't seem to be scared of me. I guess I'm not a very scary character and part bug, well, they just didn't seem to worry. And I'm happy about that, but today's filming was pretty difficult. They just didn't seem to be about. I think it was because it was so hot. They obviously need to keep very damp because they urinate through their skin and they basically just dry up really ever so quickly. That's why they're very communal. They live in packs, especially in hot weather, so they can share the moisture between one another, or should I say, stop the moisture from escaping. So I hope you enjoyed it, and next time, I think I might do ants, or maybe moths and bugs. No, actually, what I am doing is I actually started recording at night the other day, bugs of the night. So we're going to see what happens there, like vampires. Well, they're not vampires, but they come out at night. Uh, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you next time, even though I won't see you. Um, but you'll see me. <laughs> yes! Yes!